Well, no matter the stage of life, it's never too early to start thinking about a family estate plan. Having legal affairs in order can ensure that a person's wishes are carried out and provide the family with much needed peace of mind. So we have attorney John Gorelka. He specializes in making estate planning easier. Gorelka Law Firm works exclusively on estate, business, and also tax law. So John Gorelka is the only attorney as well in Sacramento County that is a certified specialist by the California State Bar in both taxation and estate planning. So John Gorelka joins me now to explain more about estate law, a very important topic and what I think can also be um, a little uh, a little confusing for some to understand. So I'm looking very forward to chatting with you about this. Tell me, why is it important to have existing trusts reviewed after 2013? Well, first, there have been some um, very big changes in the income tax law and the estate tax law. Mm -hmm. But as a result of that, it's very, very, very important, especially for married couples. For a married couple, um, one of the things that many estate planners used to do to minimize or avoid estate tax is to use what they call an AB trust or a marital formula. And so what happens is when the first spouse passes away, that actually will cause funding of half or more of the assets into an irrevocable trust. And the biggest problem is that the surviving spouse has actually limited, ac limited access to those assets and it creates tax problems because then you need to open up a new bank accounts you need to get a new tax ID number file separate income tax wow. returns and then also even for the kids when the surviving spouse passes away there's no basis step up on those assets which means that capital gains are much much higher so it's really 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 important for a married couple to have that reviewed and then also then there's HIPAA issues HIPAA which is really the basically the Federal Privacy Act in California of course has its own version of that and so that act can actually make it more difficult for the successor trustee to step in and Act. So it's important to have that looked at. And then in California, then we have Medi-Cal planning, which is not Obamacare, but really planning for long-term nursing home um, care and that sort of thing. And the average cost for that is $8,000 per month. And if um, the person has advanced Alzheimer's like my mom does, there can be a surcharge for that of $2,000 or more. So you're looking at costs, oh. annual costs of $100,000 to $120,000 a year, and that could be <laughs> crippling for a family. And the biggest problem, again, is for a married couple, because with a married couple, under California's community property law, there's actually limitations on what the well spouse can keep. So a lot of what you're trying to do oftentimes is planning to maximize assets to be available for the well spouse. Mm -hmm. And if you don't have specific critical provisions in your state planning documents, that well spouse may not be able to do that type of planning for the other spouse when he or she is incapacitated. My goodness. I mean, I'm, I'm floored. That, that That's just a lot of information right there that I think is basis why people should have their trust reviewed. But tell me, is, is a living trust, why is a living trust alone possibly not enough protection? Well, even, even with that, the, the living trust really provides for the transfer of the assets to the next generation and also helps to um, provide a mechanism for for the estate to be managed if somebody's sick or incapacitated but doesn't provide any asset protection whatsoever now and now lawsuits are being filed um, at a ridiculously high rate and so many clients are concerned about that and so there are planning techniques that you can do to um, to protect your assets as well and and you know such as a domestic asset protection trust limited liability entities such as corporations or LLCs or even offshore trusts or, or what we call the hybrid or bridge trust, which is a combination of the domestic asset protection trust and the offshore trust. So there's planning that's available, but oftentimes people are just not aware of what that might be. Mm -hmm. And are there different planning uh, options or a different plan that needs to be taking place for retirement accounts? Absolutely, and this is really, really important. Mm -hmm. um, in 2003, the, the tax laws were actually changed for, for individual retirement accounts. And basically what happened was in, in prior to 2003, um, a retirement account could go from one spouse to the next spouse, and you could use the younger spouse's age. That way it could be a true retirement account, so that wouldn't have to pay tax on that immediately. But you really didn't have that type of a planning opportunity for kids so that way when the retirement account went to the kids then typically the tax would have to be paid over five years. In 2003 what happened is, is these required minimum distributions or this this favorable stretch out was now allowed to go to non-spouse beneficiaries such as your kids. So for example my kids are 20 and 23 if um, if my if something happens to me and my retirement account goes to them my son who's 20 would have 50.5 years of tax deferred growth which would be just phenomenal. Wow. So that's very very important and then the same rules um, um, for individual retirement accounts were actually changed in 2006 to make that qualify for 401ks or governmental plans, um, you know, corporate plans. So there are a lot of planning opportunities that are missed. And this is especially important because if somebody has a trust that was prepared before 2003 or 2006, then that plan won't, will, won't have even had any attempt to try and utilize those, those, um, those techniques. Mm -hmm. So again, it's something that's really, really important. Yeah. And then also, for example, um, you know, when you have a, a younger person such as my son at 20, and even my 
myself when I was that age, I think I suffered what was called instant withdrawal syndrome, which would be money in account, withdrawal, money in account, withdrawal. Yeah. And so what I'm able to do with my kids is I can set that up into an IRA inheritance trust so that way I can qualify for that stretch out, but then Patrick doesn't actually, or, or Elizabeth wouldn't have the choice until maybe 45, uh -huh. so I can make sure I can put my older brother Joe in charge of that to make sure that type of planning is available. Oh my goodness. And so you really can't do that unless yeah. you actually plan for that. Yeah, so, so there, there's a lot of, Absolutely. of T's to cross and I's to dot. Clearly Absolutely. your law firm can help our viewers with that. And um, how do they get started? Well, probably one of the best things to do is we, we're real big on education and seminars, mm -hmm. and there's no cost for that. And that way you can, you can come in an, in an interactive environment, and that way you're with people that are similarly situated, and you get an understanding of what the rules are and what the choices are. And you know, for me as an attorney, that makes it my job with the client when I meet with them um, easier because now they have a better idea of what the choices are what the alternatives are. So the folks that, that participate in the seminar, we do provide a discount for them mm -hmm. if they move forward with the trust. But all of the planning we do is done on a flat fee basis. You don't have to worry about hourly rates or you know being billed for phone calls and that sort of thing. Excellent. John, thank you so much. Oh, I am you. floored by the amount of information. Oh. You know, what an amazing resource. So definitely check him out if you need that type of assistance. Well, make sure you stick around, though, because coming up, I will meet a local filmmaker who was in the running to have Hollywood Big Shots, Ben Affleck, and Matt Damon make his movie. Did it happen? We're going to find out after the break.